Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Misko. Welcome to Monk Monday number 83. For those of you who don't know what that is, you sent any gameplay you have of any MMR to this email right here. And I critique it, I go over it, I go through it, and I try to help you improve. Um, there is no one that's going to judge any of your gameplay, so don't be afraid to send it to me, PvP or PvE. No one's going to judge you, so feel free to send any gameplay. It's more of a thank you to anyone that watches. I really, really do appreciate it. So today we have Geist and... This was a mystery. I think this was from like, from like two weeks ago, and he was vent there, and now he's Kyrian. So this is this is gonna be interesting, or maybe this is an alt. It probably is an alt. And he says he runs disarm, dematerialize evidence in every game, and also Sephus on the chest. Would like to hear your thoughts about it. Yeah, no, that that sounds really great to me. Um, Sephus on the chest is fine because I don't think domination sockets like really affect PVP that much. Plus the gear doesn't scale up, so you kind of want to have all PVP gear. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So it looks like we're playing mystery for assassination rogue. And that's a really, I think it's a good comp. I think Assassination Rogue damage is really crazy right now. Um, and I think the most important thing in this comp is just cross CC. When your Rogue kidney shot somebody goes for a kill, um, you you try to in-cap leg sweep the off DPS. That That's, that's your go-to. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, we got a port down. We don't have a statue up yet, but I'm sure it's fine. Looks like that's a Night Fae Warrior. So that's... And we have a Necrolord Assassination Rogue. So that's really good. And good kitty shot here. So obviously the Warrior's Blade Storming there. He hasn't bursted yet. So, but I think we probably... Okay, there's the Disarm. Yeah. So Disarm is fine. I don't think we're going to have it for... Oh, he already used... He already used um, Avatar. So, okay. That works too. But I would say the most important thing probably next go is to... Try to leg sweep the warrior because that stops inter uh, intervenes and disarms and all the stuff. Honestly, all the stuff that make literally all their teammates unkillable gods. So, uh, really good job resetting your port there because we moved around the map. We did get a statue down, which is nice. There's life cocoon. Uh, we already used evasion, so we don't really have much actually. Now, now that I'm looking at it, we don't have too much. We have vanish, which is good. So, we have blind and vanish. Um, the rogue tries to kite to you. Good job getting hots up. And oh, we're not healing right now. Rogue kind of lines you here, which kind of sucks. Uh, there's Yulon. We push in. I think before pushing in, uh, this uh, it's a good leg sweep. But before pushing in, I would try to get a leg sweep off on your rogue because that enveloping mist wasn't with Yulon up, so you're not getting the benefit from the enveloping breath that Yulon has. So I would before you push in, I would probably use just enveloping mist with Manatee. I don't know what buffs we have. I don't know where Manatee is. Manatee? I don't see Manatee anywhere. But I would recommend probably using Manatee and just throwing an Enveloping Mist in before, especially since the Pally is like kidneys for four more seconds, you have time. And we're just standing here. So I would try that. There's Trinket and Bop from... There's Trinket from the Warrior, Bop from the Pally, and Blinding Light. So this is probably... I think we just Trinketed and... Let's see what we got. Revival, which is good. Yeah, so try to get Enveloping Mist out. Good. So now you can, you can see that like it's kind of easy to recover. Because we get an enveloping mist off, which is nice. Uh, make sure you keep renewing mist on your rogue, though. Looks like it kind of fell off. Yep. Great job. And we only... Uh, the, see that? Healing-wise, it's kind of tough there because we had Yulon for 30... How long is Yulon? 25 seconds? 30 seconds? And we only got one enveloping mist off. So keep that in mind. She she is kind of annoying but if you have manatee with yulon it actually has a lot of healing and can help you just kind of heal through a lot of damage so just keep that in mind also i'm noticing that you're kirian but you didn't use your vial you didn't use the little owl ability to get the vial so i i know this team isn't going you but just in case the team ever does go you in the future it's probably important to to use that because it, it's it's a decent amount of healing so keep that in mind um but here's a really good setup uh the warrior doesn't have trinket so you can get a nice blind here on him right here can you shot on the pally i would assume and that's just perfect really good setup here uh, i would do some damage you could also out of this go for paralysis on the warrior because we don't have vanish so it doesn't deal with blind and it looks like your rogue is using the trinket and beautiful set no trinket from the pally which is a little surprising um oh that was a really really great setup right there that's that's exactly what you want to do every game you want to force a trinket on your kill target on anyone really Stun your kill target, CC the off off target, and get a kill. So, really, really good game. Um, just make sure you get your vials. Make sure you get more um, value out of Yulon because Yulon actually does quite a bit of healing. If you, you know, if if you 
use their spells and try to line up with manatee. Uh, weapon, uh, is it Weapons of Order? Yeah, Weapons of Order can also be stacked with it. I just know it's a lot of GCDs, so I try to weave it in, you know, when you're fine. But overall, man, really good first game. Really, really good first game. So what do we got here? We have Elemental Shaman, Desha Warlock. So in this matchup, Peace Weaver is obviously mandatory. And I would run Zen Focus T and Current Magic just because... I don't think you're going to use Life Cocoon more than once this game, if that makes sense. Like, Chrysalis is good versus, like, Healer DPS because, you know, you're using Cocoon multiple times in the matchup. But I don't think you're going to use this more than once this game. I think either you're going to get a kill on somebody fast or they're going to kill you. Um, and then, yeah, good Zen Focus T because you don't want to die because you get locked out. So, overall, pretty solid. Uh, make sure you go... Okay, yeah. So, when you're playing with a Rogue... It took takes take, take it takes me a little bit when I'm playing with the rogue too. Um, you want to get the sap in the opener because it normally it forces some kind of trinket. You know, if you get a sap on one target, mark for death kidney on another, you're gonna get some kind of trinket because someone has to peel or use a defensive. So I would make sure when you're playing with a rogue, you tr try to not get in combat. You can even stay in the room if you want to until your rogue gets that sap, but you have flame shock on you now, uh, which is a little unfortunate. So that's all right. Uh, looks like we're going on the Ellie Shaman, uh, the Garot Kidney Shot on them. And honestly, you're fine right here. I don't think in this matchup you need to do anything at all. I think you just chill out back. Nice blind on the Warlock there. It looks, doesn't look like the Warlock is going to trinket it. And it will be careful. So this is a new talent right here. A new PvP talent that they added for Elemental Shaman. I, I, it's a lightning field. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's just a, it keeps everyone in. It's like the opposite of Ring of Peace, where Ring of Peace knocks everyone out. It sucks everybody in. Uh, you could actually kill the totem. So, um, yeah. It's kind of unfortunate. It looks like we just use Zen Focus T there. Um, kind of a waste of the Zen Focus T, because I don't think we cast it at all. Um, it might have been a mistake, because I did change it. So you can, oh, they might try to kill you, which is a little scary. There's, oh, nice revival there. So there's a little bit of Peace Weaver. And we're pushing in. I would be very careful about pushing in. Very, very careful because these guys can kill you. These guys can definitely kill you. Um, also, don't leg sweep the rogue's kill target. Like, if the rogue is on the Ellie Shaman, save your leg sweep for the Warlock. Especially since, did the Warlock burst yet? Yeah, there's Dark Soul on the Warlock. So, you definitely, I think Assassination Rogues especially get more damage when they actually kid, kidney shot their target. So, keep that in mind. And try to leg sweep in it and paralysis the warlock i know we use paralysis to get the trinket but leg sweep the warlock because first of all it's dark soul second of all no trinket and third they can't peel if you know with fears and such with while they're stunned so just keep that in mind rogues get more damage when they kidney shot their target so just keep that in mind it, it there it is smoke bomb we get trinket there from the shaman even though it doesn't show up and nice oh wow that's kind of cool set up with the uh smoke bomb you can use the trinket oh you might die here oh my god Thank God, thank God the Warlock did not see you. I'm pretty sure this Warlock could have killed you if uh, he saw you. But we actually get the kill on the Shaman, thankfully. Thankfully. Um, in this matchup, you, you don't have to go crazy. You know, you don't have to do any, you don't have to, like, do any crazy moves here. Any fla any flashy things. Just stay back and heal. That's that's all you have to do. Assassination Rogues do a, a ton of damage. They do so much damage. Like, so much damage. Um, the biggest thing you have to do in this matchup is dispel coils or fears when your rogue's going for a kill and then if the warlock uses dark soul use paralysis and leg sweep on him that's that's it you don't have to do anything fancy nothing crazy you also didn't get your vials again so uh that is a little scary because this it does dispel like stuff from the ellie shaman so just keep that in mind um, but overall good make sure you keep renewing mist on your teammates but and talent wise you see how like did you even press life cocoon this game i can't tell did you I don't know if you did or not, but like Chrysalis was kind of useless, so I would probably go Counteract Magic for the more healing uh, overall. Okay, so we got Arms Warrior Holy Pally again. So I think in this matchup, I honestly think that Dematerialize is a waste of a talent, and I think that you're better off going with um, Disarm, probably Chrys Disarm Chrysalis Eminence is what I would run versus. Just because I don't think they're going to kill you. And then you have eminence if they try to. But I don't think they can kill you. So nice. We get a sap on the warrior. Which is great. Perfect. Uh, probably Zerk raged it though. Yeah. Zerk raged it into sharpen. So that's great. And uh, instantly on the rogue. We, um, we disarm there. 
but Avatar didn't happen yet, so keep that in mind as well. The, the warrior is probably going to press Avatar right after this, this disarm is over. Uh, so just always have disarm for Avatar. You know, you could use it once after. See, he Avatars literally instantly after that. So uh, that looks like one bop from the Holy Pally too. So that's really good. There's a nice chain from your, from your rogue. I don't know what just stopped it, but um, there's Sack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. I think we just blinded into Sack. Which is a little unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. It sucks for sure, because that's one of your main that's one of your main ways to like get trinket or like a cooldowns, but um It's not the end of the world. Not oh, by the way, you should definitely be running Shackle Trinket. Um I've been playing I've been using it every game since I've gotten it in 9.1. I see that we're running Battlemaster. It's just not I, it's good for sure. Um, it's good versus teams that can dispel curses because curses um, get rid of stop the cast But I would definitely say Run shackle trinket every game pretty much um, Especially now because like even with stack up you could use the trinket, but we did just blind it to sack Which is a little bit unfortunate um, Avatar is down make sure you keep your mystic touch on the kill target at least with the with the warrior There is there's nice. This is probably smoke bomb. Okay. This smoke bomb trinket from the warrior too uh, the pally's probably gonna rush in if the pally starts running in try to go i see we have paralysis we have legs we bring a piece we have so many ways to prevent this pally from getting to the warrior it's crazy so i would start off with just a ring piece on the pally knock him far make him freak out pretty much he's gonna freak out the warrior is gonna freak out so i would probably use a ring a piece to prevent the the pally if you didn't have it i'd go for paralysis so there's there's rally perry um they kind of freaked out there a little bit i it would have been nice if we got like any CC, like a paralysis, like super ring of peace, but that's fine. We got trinket, which is the most important thing uh, in this matchup. We do get feared. We're holding it. Uh, looks like repentance, and we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna try to port while repent. That bug is so crazy. Uh, Dwarf shadows, which is the DRs with the fear that the warrior just did. So that's fine. Uh, double leg sweep here again. It's pretty decent. Just be careful because the rogue does get more damage. Double growth there is nice. Ooh. Okay, yeah. So when you're rogue, so what your paralysis does is it dispels like all bleed. It dispels everything so it doesn't break. But your rogue got double groat. So just keep in mind if your rogue has poisons and bleeds on a target, try not to paralysis. I would highly recommend it because this is like ro that's what rogues thrive in. Like I've queued, I queued into Nesper who's an assassination rogue, and that's all he does all game. He just throws his poison knife at me while he hits my warrior and the cleave and the, and the spread pressure is just crazy. So when you see a rogue have double garrote on main target, off target, any targets, try not to paralysis uh, that target because it just instantly dispels. Like you instantly dispel all his bleeds and poisons on a target, which kind of sucks damage wise. And then we did we did leg sweep to kill target, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll be fine. There's repentance there. I think we kicked it. Oh no, we kidney shot it, which is good. Great job with uh, perfect crackle there. Really, really good. Um, so far, so good. Blade storm through the rop. Kind of a classic. That's great. Um, our port is not out of line. It looks like he's going to go get a free repentance here because even if you port, I think it's in line. It is. So this is a free repentance. Kind of sucks. That's just how it is. Um, we disarm the ro the warrior, which is great. That's good. That is really good. Make sure you keep healing. Good. I would almost say, you know what? Wait, what are you? Are you human? Proud. Uh. We port and then paralysis. Great paralysis. All right, that's good. Good. Yeah. No. So far, so good. We have disarm. Oh, we just used disarm. Okay. Uh, this is the rest. This is Avatar, so it is pretty good. <laughs> nice, nice. No, we're doing great so far. Uh, there's second bop. So again, Pally doesn't have a whole lot of cooldowns. If you're honestly, I wouldn't run Cephus versus Warrior teams. I think you're better off running Cloud of Focus. I you don't need Cephus versus this comp. You need mana and healing. So next time you queue into a warrior, try playing Cloud of Focus. I think it'll make healing a lot easier. And make sure you keep your mist up on your target. Because enveloping mist is good, but really most of it healing. Good. Good. And keep renewing mist on yourself too. Don't don't forget to put renewing mist on yourself as well. Because right now, when you're vivifying, you could be healing yourself. 
you know and it's it's essentially free healing Rop here would be nice nice i think we step kicked the pally which is nice this rogue is really really good um good kick here we did not reset our port so just be careful uh be careful that's all i'm saying there's repentance from the pally rogue vanishes don't have to trinket <sighs> okay we trinket so just give it a second see this repents like give it a second you could our rogue uses vanish you could also see the animation of the rogue using vanish so our rogue vanished they can't hit our rogue right now which means they can do one of two things they can either hit you and break the pally's repentance or they can just chill so you don't have to trinket here usually it's the same case for blind too you know if, if usually people instantly trinket blind you know even if everyone's at 100 percent health i just give it a second to like evaluate the situation and see like what's going on because sometimes you don't have to trink it you know sometimes you just don't have to so we trink it we get a paralysis but the paralysis is wasted because our rogue is behind the pillar right now um looks like pally's going for a drink which means just do damage great kidney shot here i don't think we have smoke bomb um maybe we just get a kill touch of death insane yeah no great i i don't think there were many options for this paladin i think he didn't have any more sacks he had no more pops had to go try to go for a drink really good i would try i definitely try cloud of focus though versus warrior teams i think it's really really good versus warrior teams and then finally i think this is our last game which is holy pally beast mastery hunter now it might be easier for your rogue to just hit the pally honestly uh trying to hit a bm rogue or a bm, rogue, a BM hunter is brutal so you're probably better off killing the pally which means what we're looking for is like in caps on the hunter um i would also run disarm versus hunters because a little neat trick versus them is if you disarm a hunter they can't kick you it's great they need they need a ranged weapon to be able to kick so if you disarm them and they don't have trinket you can free cast for six seconds, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we're definitely going on the pally. In cap on the hunter. Uh, do some damage here. Perfect. And yeah, so we're stunned. By the way, I would definitely run Eminence versus this comp. Because their setup is literally um, Intimidation Stun, Trap, Hodge, Trap. Over and over again. So see this Intimidation Stun? Just port while stunned to avoid the trap. So, just, so you see the Freezing Trap go off? Just port. Completely avoid this trap. Oh, but we don't. Okay, that kind of sucks. That's where a sacrifice. There's bubble. Okay, we're getting cooldowns here. So they still have trinkets. Oh, we trinketed. So this this trinket right here could have just completely been avoided if you just ported the the stun. That's pretty much it. I know there's a lot going on, but that's that's literally how they win. Um, is just by consistent goes. There's a dr hodge in you, which is pretty. That's good for us. Be careful. Might get kicked. Getting kind of low. Um, now if you get kicked again, you have disarm and you have paralysis soon and overall pretty 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 good stuff so far. Maybe taunt a pet. Careful though. Oh my god, we're getting low. There's evasion. Be careful though, because pallies have magic damage. Wow. There's disoriented um blinding light into potentially a trap. Evasion. Hopefully this is enough. I don't know. Can you shot on the on the pally, which is really good? I would potentially go for a leg sweep off that just because I don't think yeah, we don't have Vanish, so there's no ch cheap shot off that. Yeah, I would go for a Leg Sweep on the Pally. Also, get an, get an add-on that shows DRs. I, I think this is S Arena, so it should have a built-in Diminishing Return tracker. I would do that. I, I would definitely use it. I don't know, maybe it's... Oh, okay, we'd Leg Sweep the Pally, or the Hunter. Okay. I would say, like, right here, the Pally is so freaking low, man. The... It, and the, the hunter has no trink and you have disarm so disarm the hunter here the pally is at like 8,000 health so what you could do end this game out bring a piece of this heal into a leg sweep and it's it's over like it's it's curtains so or at least you get pally trinket um and then the hunter has is disarmed so there's not much you can do about it but i would also be careful you kind of want to heal too because you your <laughs> your rogue's gonna die so always remember like while you're running in, put a renewing mist out or something, because it's kind of scary just running in and not healing. Uh, there's second bop, or there's first bop, but we also got bubble in the opener. So, overall, really good. Smoke bomb is a little bit of a waste here, honestly. Uh, there's no stun on the pally, so there's no point. Nice in cap on the hunter, though. You kind of want to make it line up with the kitty shot, though, just because that way he can't do anything when you're going for a kill. Uh, we can port this as well. Oh, 
if you're playing eminent yeah there we go i mean we port while trapped which is weird but yeah um just remember that you can port while stunned too and i think we just got to kill astro damage is actually insane holy cow it's, it's they're just so insane um overall pretty solid i would say most importantly you can you can port stuns so just port the stun and avoid the trap completely it's a complete waste maybe your rogue eats it and then breaks it so that's really good um could have definitely ended the game sooner if always be aware like this this pally has nothing essentially literally nothing so instead of a leg sweep on the hunter especially since you know there's bestial wrath you could disarm it and then you could probably just leg sweep the pally um or, or even ring a piece to heal would be insane too because that's just that, that that's just so much time he can't trinket. i mean there's nothing to trinket and then also try out the maldic trinket as well because if you maldic this guy too at low health for for pallies monks priests who don't have a decurse to stop it it's just really really insane so overall good games make sure you keep your new stuff on yourself as well because it's it's free healing if you're gonna use vivifies and also try cloud of focus it's a really really good legendary helps with healing and mana and that is that's that's all i got that's pretty much it um hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone watching and that's that's it for me hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you had a great weekend and i'll see you later